How'd you like to print your next meal? Hmm. Hey, thanks for checking out iTony Tech. It's tech news for non-geeks. How'd you like to print a two-piece with mashed potatoes and gravy? Biscuit, too. Well, for right now, you're going to have to settle for cookies, chocolate, and pizza. XYZ Printing, the second biggest maker of 3D printers on the planet, has launched a 3D food printer. No ink cartridges to buy. Ingredient capsules are going to be used. Now, the printer runs about $27,000. The company says the 3D food printer would be great for NASA. Astronauts could print their meals, but I'm thinking how this could wipe out world hunger. I'm also not sure if the food is ready to eat right off the printer or if there's another step like baking or broiling or frying involved, but the printer should be available by the middle of next year. Speaking of printers, how about a phone case that prints selfies? Print, P-R-Y-N-T, is a phone case shaped like a point-and-shoot camera with a compact printer built in. Now the printer holds 10 to 30 sheets and it cranks out a picture in about a minute. They're hoping to get that down to 30 seconds. There's a cable, so you won't have to depend on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Now there's a way to go before it's in stores. When it gets there though, expect to pay about $99. Now I'm not sure why you want to print a picture when you can text or email a picture to anyone, but if you're interested, Kickstarter is planned for next year. Apple Pay is available at over 220,000 stores. Apple Pay, if you don't know, lets you pay for goods and services where accepted. Using your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, you set it up to your bank account and Apple Pay generates a pay code for every transaction so there's no using your credit card number. That's cool. Now, Spot Hero is an app that helps you find parking, compare rates, and book a spot for, in some cases, up to 50% off. And right now, it's in New York, and Chicago, Washington, Boston, Philly, New York, Denver, Baltimore, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, and New Orleans. RadPad is an app that will let you pay your rent using Apple Pay. You say your landlord still uses AOL to get on the internet? No shade. RadPad lets you pay with your credit or debit card using Apple Pay. For a fee, they'll send your landlord, Ms. Jenkins, they'll send her a check. SanDisk is a company that makes memory cards, flash drives, hard drives, and other stuff in the digital storage space. Now they have the Expand flash drive for iPhone and iPad. It'll free up space on your iDevice by backing up your photos and videos, and it's for the iPhone 5 or later, and it comes in 64 gig, 32 gig, or 60 gig for 60, 80, or 120 dollars, respectively. Now, if you do a lot of selfies or you're a citizen journalist, this is something you want at your disposal. That's all I got. If you can give this a thumbs up and maybe subscribe, that puts you on Team Awesome. Check out some other videos right here and subscribe to my newsletter at Talking360.com. Thanks for checking out iTony Tech. Tech news for non-geeks. I'm Tony Scott.